Through the good times and bad, this is an ESA to Z with, ooh, another Capcom. Oh, nice. Little that logo. Little gem here. We got Gargoyles Quest 2. Um, interestingly enough, the first one was on the Game Boy. Oh, okay. So the second one's on the uh, NES. And yeah, let's get started. Now, got passwords. This is a little RPG. It's kind of an RPG. I, I don't know how I chose password. I oh, was clearly on start. Maybe it's... Wait, what's going on? Yeah, I don't want to... Maybe password is like you put oh, a password right, there and they're like, go. that's your password. I don't no, know. okay, so... Here we go. Okay, and I just want to point this out. I love this game. I love Gorgo's Quest 2. Um, way back in the day. Uh, I think I was like maybe like 16. That was like 80 years ago. Um, <laughs> okay. I love the text. Before, yeah, before I go on with that story. Well, you know, he's like a monster, so... All right. No, but, um... No, I, I started a Let's Play of this. Um, it was the last play I ever started and never finished it. I think. I think I never finished it. But, um, it was fun. Those are good times, Let's Play. So, is this like a spinoff of Ghosts and Goblins? Right, yeah. Is, so, this is like... I love how fast they were. Yeah, Ghosts and Ghosts and Ghosts and Goblins. Ghost and um, yeah, it's a spinoff. You're, you're a character from it. And, um... Yeah, you know, I guess you're, like, doing good. Because that guy looks like the final boss up top. Yeah, he had like right. a face on his stomach. He totally was. You got a bunch of stuff here. Um, different stuff levels up. So it's kind of an RPG, but not at all. It's like out of stages, you're walking around like overhead, like any like a dragon quest. Or a gargoyle quest, if you will. But um This price is really good. I'm really impressed. Well yeah, it's uh, you know, it's two things. Capcom, yeah, plus nineteen ninety two NES. <laughs> well no excuse. Yeah, I mean it's gonna be good. Yeah, it, it's crazy how detailed and, like, shaded I am. Um, but, uh, so something's going on, I guess. Here, let's talk to this guy. Just a trainee. Oh, that's right, he wants me to prove myself. I wasn't paying attention. Um, it might be in here that I have to prove myself. Definitely not, this is just, just a house. I think you can find stuff in pots. Now, you know, it looks like an RPG, and again, I know I, know I said it's not, but, it, like, it... The only the only way it is is like yeah you get like I mean what do you like go into levels and like yeah you go into levels um but yeah the this quote unquote RPG aspect of the game it is pretty um, minimum like you're not gonna find many items laying around <clears throat> but it's still cool it's it's a nice maybe oh I think this is where I um, train cool. here we go let's talk to this guy okay I can't talk to him over the counter it's a huge counter it's like a wall yeah it's like a desert. Yeah, here's the training center. I think these guys in the beds, they, like, failed. They're, like, hurt. I don't want to be a true warrior. Yeah, we'll see about that. It's cool to be a monster in a game. Yeah. Although, I always feel weird. Like, is what I'm doing good? You know? Maybe uh, they just have weird motives. You don't understand. I think, in the end, you inadvertently, like, you know, you're saving everyone. Right. So, so here we this go. This awesome. Yeah, I don't know. I like this music. So, you got jump, you got flight, you can't go up when you're flying, but... Wasn't this guy in something recently? Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3? Yeah, he was, right? Yeah, yeah, in the new version. On Is that crazy or what? Yeah, it's pretty yeah, awesome. not Mega Man. Never played it. Yeah, this no, guy. Yes, not Mega Man. Um, but yeah, as you as you level up your wing, you can fly longer. Remember, in the SNES version, you just have infinite play. I want to get that pod. Oh, just the SNES version? Yeah, Demon's Crest. Oh, okay. It's pretty good. It, they kind of take out a lot of the RPG elements, but it, it's still kind of there. It's nice. pretty cool. Like there's um, there's kind of like flight puzzles. You know, like okay, I had to gain this much height because right, right, I can't right. go up with my flight. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. This seems. That's it. You beat the challenge? No. Uh, oh wait, actually, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think something happened in the interim. Uh, yeah, the black light, obviously. Um, it's kind of a oxymoron, huh? Glad you're safe. By the way, everybody died. Yo, uh, everyone's dead. <laughs> Gone. Dude, really good job. Like, I'm really proud of you, but, uh, uh your mom's dead. I'm glad you were over here doing this, because, uh, yikes. Oh, and the town becomes a stage. That's pretty awesome. I like I'm gonna that. try to guess which houses in the background are the houses I saw in the town. What's that? I'm gonna try to guess oh. which houses I see I match up with the town. You know what? Those houses in the background nothing like that. I know, they're too tall. But it's okay, I'll forgive it, because uh, this game's really good. You know, I never realized this until now, but it's it's really cool to games that have like an overworld, like a top-down overworld, and then like a side-scroll thing. Yeah. There's not many NES games or Super Nintendo games, you get to see things from different two different angles. You know? Yeah, you're right. There's not different camera angles, but you, this kind of seems like it is. Yeah. 
uh, Zelda 2. Uh, yeah. 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 No, and you know what? I like Zelda 2. But I also like this game. Um, these urns I'm collecting, I'm pretty sure that's like... These currency. urns you're earning. If you will. I will, though. Um, oh, this is weapon select, I guess. You only have a star <laughs> shot. Yeah, I, I get it. Shoot out a little crosshair. I don't, I don't remember what else you get, but... um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the, the vials are like currency. Why did everybody doubt Firebrand? You know, you just like whomp on everybody. Oh no, I uh, well, too soon. that's why, because you can't handle a, a skeleton bird coming out of an egg. Also, why do the trees gotta be evil? <laughs> you know what's funny? These trees are in Ghouls and Ghosts, or Ghosts and Goblins, or whatever it's called, right? Those little hat trees with the faces on them? Yeah, I believe so. So it's like, in this world, since you're evil, they're your friends. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> like yeah. sup, Firebrand? Hey. Oh, I should have gotten higher. I was, I was afraid of that. Free falling is dangerous. You don't know what's gonna be below. So, so uh, if it's not King Arthur, who's the enemy? I'm sorry, it's not King Arthur. It's just Arthur, right? Yeah, just Arthur. Yeah, if it's not Arthur, who's the enemy of Firebrand? Just some jerk, I guess. Ow. I don't know. You know, there's monsters that just want to kill everything. You know. Yeah. I don't know. I wanna, I wanna try to get a little further. Also, but, you know, you're not, you're not that attractive. For like a main character, but I like it. You know, it's, yeah. it's cool. It's like, well, you know, I think for a monster, you, you're kind of, you know, like you could be a lot worse. You could, uh, I guess you're right. I mean, you could be that thing. You know, <laughs> pretty cool. Thank, honestly. thank goodness you're not. I don't know. It's an eye with us. Uh, you know what? I do appreciate the design now that I paid attention to it. I'm trying. I know there's a life up somewhere. What's with games and like immediately placing a life capacity increase like at the beginning of the game? I guess just demonstrate it's hey, not gonna be yeah, like, crappy forever. Or like, hey, these exist. Right. Maybe just showing you. Okay, this time I will not lose. Oh jeez. I tried to duck. What's the bar under your wing level? Oh, that's oh wait, never mind. That goes down when you fly, right? Yeah, that's my. It's like your stamina, basically. Wing strength, yeah. I'm really glad they don't drop anything. I mean, like, not Maybe. items, I mean, like, they don't drop oh, crap yeah. when they're above you. Let's see if we can get this. Nice. And spikes, okay. Oh, come on. Back here, down to one life again. So How did I the, die? You beat this game? Yeah, I beat it a long time ago. That's awesome. Well, like, I wanted to try to let's play it if I hadn't beaten it already. That'd be foolish. Can you save and, like, you just keep trying, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't have limited continues. I'm going to die to this guy again. Um, yeah, that's Gargoyle's Quest 2. Um, if you like NES games, I wholeheartedly recommend this if you haven't played it. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, it seems awesome. It's, you know, it seems kind of slow paced, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of strategy in how you move. And, you know, you move very, and it's very solid, like a Mega Man game. Expect no less from Capcom. Uh, you know, good music, listen to this, it sounds, I mean, it's not cool, but it's good. Yeah, no, it's really good. Yeah. Carlos Quest. A two. Also, the first one's pretty good, too. It's a little different, but... Yeah, play that one, too. Please, please do it. Please. I implore you. Implore you. Impl